Hey everyone, so today I did this look. This is a peacock inspired makeup tutorial and it's very simple and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So the first thing I did is I primed my lids using Too Faced Shadow Insurance and blended that up to the brow bone. Then I used a white base to make the colors pop more and I used Wet n Wild's Color Icon Eyeliner and this is in white. And then I just blend it out just a bit with my finger. Best white eyeliner ever. Then I take this beautiful green eyeshadow. This is Lime Alive by CoverGirl. I've used a lot of it as you can see. I'm going to take this on the brush. I'm using a flat brush which since I already did the other eye it's a little dirty. And I'm going to take this green which it doesn't look very pigmented in the swatch but it is very good um, on your eyelids so I just apply that to kind of brighten up the look and then I just take this shade from my little palette my 88 palette. I take this shade and I think my shade colors are showing up better now that I have my camera light on and I'm going to pack that right on top of that and then I'm just going to take that same or not the same brush but this brush and I'm going to take this shimmery green from Cranky Girls and it looks like that and it's like a light mid-tone bright green that has a lot of shimmer in it and I'm just going to apply this right on top of that and then I'm going to take CoverGirl's Sapphire Sparkle eyeshadow I'm going to be using a lot of CoverGirl eyeshadows and I'm going to use this on that same flat brush and I'm going to get the color on there now this color is not very pigmented, that's why I had to use two shades and overlay them about three times. Well, not this one, but I overlaid it, the other shade twice to give it the full effect. And then, from my 88 palette, I'm going to use this shade. It's like a dark blue it's like a phthalo blue cobalt blue and I'm just going to pat that on top this is actually the same color as the liner that I'm going to be putting on okay so then I just use oh I need to close this up um this purple color this is purple pop by cover girl and I get this on one side of that same brush just after I've cleaned it off just a bit and I apply this on the outer third of my lid and then I just apply this shade that one like a purple color sorry pretty and I'm going to take that on the same side of the brush and apply this right over the top so these shades aren't good in swatches but they are really good on your eyelids so then you just take this brush and blend the colors downwards so the darker shades gets a little bit on top of the green Plus blending it is going to make it look like all together. It's going to pull the look together. Then you want to take this small brush and you want to get this color onto your brush. It's like a beautiful teal aqua color. And you want to apply this right above the colors that you just applied for a kind of like a like nice 
top of aqua right above everything and then just apply a little bit of this green mix two greens together actually so I'm going to be using this green and this green and mixing them together to create a different color so a lime green and a medium forest green um, or a lighter version of forest green and I'm going to apply that a little bit on top of that and a little bit mixed in with that and then blend it out with your finger and with the brush I forgot to do that on my eye actually it just gives it a bigger look okay so then on your brow bone I just apply Snow Blossom by CoverGirl which is a shimmery white and I just apply it on my brow bone and bring it down to my inner corners and I use an aqua eyeliner, glitter liner on my inner corners. And just a bit more on there. Then I'm going to take this cobalt blue liner and line kind of like my waterline. And my lower lash line. This is like a really nice cobalt blue. It's from Jordana. And I really like it. It's very nice and bright. Um, so that's that. Next you want to take your liquid liner. And I'm going to... This is Wet n Wild's Mega Liner in black, and I'm going to get as much of the product off as I can without getting all of the product off to make the brush thinner and easier for precision, and I'm going to create a wing. So I'm going to pause you guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, so once that is dried and it's winged up and everything, it looks good, um, then you just want to curl your lashes. And I've already curled them, but I'll just curl them again. And... Apply some mascara. Top and bottom lashes. Then you're finished with your eyes, and it should look really really nice and this is what the finished eye look is like and it's very beautiful and if you're going to go for a dramatic eye look I recommend you go for natural cheeks so I'm going to go for this blush for a covergirl covergirl cheekers and natural shimmer And then just apply a lipstick that's like a, or a lip gloss that's nude and has a hint of pink. This is one, Daniel's in here again, and he's talking. This is one from Clinique, and this is in Honey Gloss, which I'm not sure if they sell this anymore because this is a really old lipstick, but look how much I've used. That's as far as it'll go up. And it's like a lip gloss because it's so shiny. And yeah, this is the completed Peacock makeup tutorial. And I really like the way this turned out. It's very gorgeous, especially this side. It's very gorgeous. And if you guys want more tutorials, then request in down below. And I will see you guys later. Peace. Bye.